If you've ever experienced binging or binging episodes, I bet there's a good chance you think you have binge eating disorder. But in actual fact, most of the patients and clients who come to my practice who think they have binge eating disorder actually have a completely different eating disorder. So let's dive into that today. My name's Ruth, I'm an eating disorder specialist and it's such a joy to have you here. So you might be surprised to hear that the most commonly misdiagnosed eating disorder in my own practice is actually bulimia nervosa. But why is it so heavily misdiagnosed? It's actually because bulimia is much more complex than simply binging and then throwing up again. So let's take the next five minutes a day to talk about the four types of bulimia I see in my practice and some tips for recovery. So the most common type of bulimia that we see in the media and in Hollywood is the binge purge cycle of eating a large volume of food and then making yourself sick. Most recently, we've seen this illustrated in The Crown with Princess Diana. Whilst it might be one of the most common types of bulimia we see on screen, it's actually the least common I see in my own practice. And of course, this video is not to minimise you if that has been your experience of bulimia, but it's simply just to highlight that it is the least common that I see. One of the most common forms of bulimia I see in my own practice is purging via over-exercise. Now this is fueled by lots of different things including the toxic wellness industry, fitness culture and diet culture. All of these very toxic institutions have absolutely normalised the idea of over-exercising or exercising to excess. So this type of bulimia can look quite obvious with perhaps you doing excessive workouts in the gym or gym classes each day, maybe multiple gym classes a day, or maybe less common examples like obsessing over your step count daily, to a point where those thoughts become intrusive. It's very important to note that the type of exercise we do when purging is completely against our intuition and can very quickly lead to burnout and or injury. Another very common type of bulimia I see is purging via restriction. Again, this type of purging pushes us away from our intuition and natural hunger cues. Not to mention, it seriously messes with our metabolism, which can cause weight gain in the long run. Restriction-based purging comes in many forms and many are seen as socially acceptable or even trending. I could list them off all day here, but for example, things like keto, the carnivore diet, raw veganism, weight loss plans and apps, liquid diets, meal replacement shakes. And some of these are from very big leading companies that I won't mention because I don't want to get sued, but you can come to your own conclusions. The final type of purging cycle I see in bulimia is using laxatives or diet products. These can range from laxative based teas, even lollipops, all the way through to pills. And the reality is these products will have you on the toilet most of the day. Not to mention buying pills online can actually be fatal. When we use diet pills and laxatives, our body isn't allowed to retain essential nutrients that it needs, which again messes with our metabolism and can again lead to weight gain in the longer term. So as you can see, with many forms of purging becoming so normalised and socially acceptable, bulimia is one of the biggest growing eating disorders here in the UK. But what can we do if we think we might actually be suffering from bulimia? Here are three tips to help you begin your recovery journey. Number one, get support. Whether it be a loved one or a trusted registered professional like myself, get yourself some support. You deserve it. Eating disorders as a coping mode can often leave us feeling extremely isolated and we truly do need a supportive village in our recovery journey. I do appreciate that professional support can be very expensive but ask your GP about not-for-profits in your area and services on the NHS. If you're in a school or university, again reach out to student support, many of these institutions do actually have free counselling on site. And if you're looking for an online course to start your recovery journey, head over to my website where I have a full course on binge eating disorder and bulimia. These courses are specifically designed to help you in the first steps towards your recovery. Our binge eating disorder course takes six weeks and the supplementary bulimia course takes only a few weeks. Not to mention I have packed around 15 therapy sessions worth of information in our courses. Number two, acknowledge that you may actually have unprocessed trauma. If you already follow me on social media, you'll know that one of the biggest messages I try to get out there is that eating disorders are a coping mode to help us deal with unprocessed trauma. We all experience trauma, but when that trauma goes unsupported, we often manifest very damaging coping modes just to help us get through the days. And when we're thinking about bulimia, whilst our purge cycle gives us a sense of control, our binge cycle gives us a chance to completely dissociate from our thoughts and feelings. So to start on a recovery journey, we must also start on a trauma processing journey. Number three, notice your triggers. Trauma triggers can be absolutely anything in our day-to-day -day lives that trauma those thoughts and feelings associated with our unprocessed trauma. But by identifying and acknowledging our triggers, we can A, get support for them, and B, often try to avoid them if we can. 
For me, I always advise my patients and clients to work backwards after they've been triggered. And by work backwards, I mean identify the binge or purge you experienced and then work back from there in your day or your week. What triggers did you see or experience? Remember, a trigger can be one isolated incident or a buildup of multiple incidents. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button. It really does help other eating disorder warriors know that I exist. Be kind to yourself, baby.